All right, which Trump advisor is it that continues to urge him to do town hall after town hall? I don't know if I dislike them because they work with Trump or if I should thank them because they're allowing him to melt down in front of our eyes as he did today on stage in Pennsylvania. He immediately started this town hall off with a senile moment. He got a few names wrong. He was slurring his way through the speech, refusing to answer questions, showing misleading charts, and we'll break all of that down throughout this video. With 16 days to go, we have no time to waste. Make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and let's start off with a banger moment. Trump saying to Sage Seal, let's have a little fun page. And she, she plays it off well, but you can tell she's a little disappointed. He doesn't even know her name. He doesn't know her name. Thank you very much, thank you. Let's have a little fun page, okay? Here we go. Ooh, it took her a second. She goes, here we go. He said, let's have a little fun page to Sage Steele. Let's look at her reaction in, in close up. Thank you very much, thank you. Let's have a little fun page, okay? Here we go. Here we go. And here is Donald Trump taking the first question. Meet you all, Bob. Where are you? Hi, Bob. Here we go. Hi, Bob. Ooh. Come on up. I like, I like that outfit. Oh, that's beautiful. Where did you buy that? I want to get one of them. Okay. That's pretty cool, can, actually. Can you help him out thank with you. an outfit? Absolutely, absolutely. I got just your thank size. You. Mr. President, I start the night, start the afternoon off. My name is Bob. I'm a retired uh, union worker from Hazleton on a fixed income. Many Americans in my position struggle to make ends meet. Will you commit to helping protect Social Security and Medicare benefits? A great question. The answer is yes. And you know, when you say fixed income, because of Biden and Kamala, nobody knows her as Harris. You know, I can't use the word Harris. And by the way, it's her 60th birthday, so I want to wish her a happy 60th birthday. Did you see how quickly he pivoted off of this answer? This is insane. He asks the question, he goes, you know, that's great. Within one second, he's attacking Kamala. Listen, listen closely to how quickly he starts attacking Kamala. Social Security and Medicare benefits. A great question. The answer is yes. And you know, when you say fixed income, because of Biden and Kamala, nobody knows her as Harris. You know, I can't use the word Harris. And by the way, it's her 60th birthday, so I want to wish her a happy 60th birthday, right? That was the most malicious happy birthday I've ever heard. I've never heard s such a malicious, nefarious happy birthday, and everyone starts booing. I want to wish her a happy 60th birthday, right? No? No, happy birthday. And many more, and I mean it, so, you know, I do mean it, actually. Um, <laughs> what? I'm just looking at this gentleman. You don't look like you're retired to me. You look like you're in the prime. You could be if you wanted to be, right? Huh? You're doing I'm great. Trying. Look at the size of the arms of this guy. I don't know. Oh. He looks he looks pretty healthy. So, uh, people on fixed income have been decimated by the Biden and uh, and Harris. Regime. Answer the question. Are you going to fix it? Are you going to fix it at all? How are you going to get there? Are you going to have a step-by-step -step process? How are these people not noticing his deflecting and pivot? He doesn't have any real policies, and that's why he has to do stuff like this. Weave around it by saying, Kamala, happy birthday. Oh, this guy has big arms. You know, the Biden-Harris administration is very, very bad. He does that with Ukraine, with abortion, with every single topic. This has been horrible what's happened to him because we have... I think in history, I think in the greatest in history, they say, no, it's 48 years. Man, poor Bob. All he wants is a real answer. Social Security? You don't look... You're, uh, what, is your, what is your age? 57. You, you look a lot younger than that. I'm, Doesn't he look handsome? He's, he's a much better looking guy than I am. And look at him. You look good. And you have a good family, great family? I've got a great family. That's great. So, I mean, look at Bob and look at Sage or Paige or whatever you want to call her over on the right as Donald Trump gives the most simplistic answers ever. Listen, he says, so we're just going to make the economy better. Simply make the economy better. That's what we do. We make the economy better. Gonna, that's a big thing. Uh, also, very importantly, we're just going to make the economy better. Do you, do you plan on working a little bit in terms of part-time jobs or any of yeah, that? Yes, sir, I still do. But one of the biggest things we're going to do is the economy is going to get good, but we have more liquid gold. You know, this is what caused the inflation. They blew. We had the best. We were energy independent. First time, I think, ever. We're 
This clip is just cracking me up. Donald Trump is saying, dead seriously, with a straight face, that people are robbing department stores and walking out with refrigerators on their back, sometimes air conditioning on their back. I am dying. When they, you go to Chicago, you go to a lot of cities, and they rob a department store, and guys are walking out with refrigerators. They have it on their back with two friends, and air conditioning, and everything. And they literally are stripping, and the police are standing outside, and they're shaking out of anger because they really want to do something, but they're told to stand down. Stand down. Yeah, I go to school in Chicago. The scene is crazy. It's just a bunch of men walking around, a bunch of hooligans with refrigerators on their back instead of backpacks, and the cops are standing there. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to do anything. None of this is happening. This is not happening, and it's so absurd that it's almost offensive. Here's Donald Trump saying, I don't have a cognitive problem. Kamala has a cognitive problem, which number one is projection, but number two, I'll play a clip right after of Kamala speaking, and we'll see who has the, uh, the cognitive problem. I have no cognitive she may have a cognitive problem, but, but. Except she took a cognitive exam. She took a physical exam. She released all of the results. Donald Trump not only refuses to take these exams, but he lies about having taken them, and then he cancels interviews that will ask him about the exams. Here is VP Harris saying that his behavior is just demeaning to the office of the presidency. I, I've known you a long time, and I know you have thick skin, but I'm not asking you as, as a person, because I know you're used to that. But what does it do, in your opinion, to the U.S.? I, I've known you a long time, and I know you have thick skin, but I'm not asking you as, as a person, because I know you're used to that. But what does it do, in your opinion, to the standards we're setting for our young people all over the country when we're using this kind of locker room street talk yeah. about an opponent for president of the United States? So the American people deserve so much better. That's how I come at it. And to your point, the President of the United States must set a standard, not only for our nation, but understanding the standard that we as a nation must set for the world. You know, we, we as representing the United States of America walk into rooms around the world with the earned and self-appointed authority to talk about the importance of democracy, rule of law, and have been thought of as a role model, imperfect though we may be, but a role model of what it means to be committed to certain standards, including international rules and norms, but also standards of decorum. And what you see in my opponent, a former president of the United States, really is, um, it, 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 it demeans the office. Yep. It demeans the office, and that's his intention, to erode these silent norms. It's crazy how America is held up basically on silent, unspoken norms. Someone named former Republican in the reply says, He's a convicted felon, business fraudster, convicted charity scammer, convicted tax cheat, he's a convicted sexual abuser, and, and a convicted indicted traitor, and he has no business near the White House whatsoever. I cannot agree more. Here is a clip of Trump saying, I'm not 80, and I'm not that close to 80. This is just straight up denial. In the world, and I'm not 80, and I'm not that close to 80. But uh, in the Biden case, he's 81 or 82. Trump is like 78 and a half. He's incredibly close to 80 in the grand scheme of things. That's like me saying I'm 22, but I'm not even close to 25. I'm nowhere near 25. I'm, I'm a few years out from 25 for sure. And that's not being a 78 year old being close to 80. Here is Donald Trump talking about the cognitive exams, lying about having taken them, which honestly makes me question his character even more, which makes me question his mental capacity even more. Very nice that they say it. I've done cognitive tests. I've done them twice and I aced both of them. And the doctor in one case, said, I've never seen anybody ace him. They've never seen any. Was this the same doctor that said Trump is more fit than Obama? Because this doctor may need a cognitive exam himself. Here's another question. Every single oh. day I get to show everyone. Ooh. I love and All honor right, you. There's our story for the day. <laughs> go ahead Here with your go. question. Okay, Mr. Go President, ahead. again, Thank my you. name is Martin. Hello. Here we go. Hello, Mr. President. Hello. My name is Suki. We've actually met before. Uh-oh. I have the tattoo. Here we go. I have the tattoo, the portrait <laughs> tattoo on my leg. I, we met September oh. 14th in Jim Worthington. Oh, good. He's a good man. That's yeah, right. Yeah, and I have your portrait on my leg every This is terrifying. That is not a flex. Oh. All day I get to show everyone. Ooh. I love and All honor right, you. All right, there's our story for the day. <laughs>
Go ahead Here with your go. question. Okay, Mr. Go President. I, I just imagine this lady walking around showing people her leg with a Trump tattoo and 90% of people are like, yikes. My name is Suki. I have worked as a server bartender. I am a mom of four boys. My oldest is headed to medical school. My oldest son is a professional boxer. And two of my boys are MMA fighters. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> That means she's got those good fighting genes. That's what it means. Wow. There's Donald Trump talking about genes again. He's been talking about genes a lot lately, saying that VP Harris was born dumb, saying that some people have better genes than other, saying that some people who enter the country have bad genes and they're ruining the gene pool. This is race realism rhetoric. This is basically the idea that certain races are superior to others and it's genetic when it's not. Are they good? Are they oh, pretty good? How are they doing? He's all over TV. Wow. Wow, that's <laughs> Great. I am a proud mom. Most of my income comes from tips. Making ends meet in the economy is hard. Can you tell me, can you tell us your plan to lower taxes for working Americans like myself? Right. Well, number one, we're going to make the economy much better. Oh my God, how are you going to do that? How are you going to make the economy better? And here's Donald Trump pulling up the chart. I don't know if we've debunked it on this show yet, but we should thoroughly debunk this chart. We have a chart that's an amazing chart. In fact, it's probably my favorite chart of all time. <laughs> because I wouldn't be here without that chart. And, and oh. Okay, so this is the chart that Donald Trump was looking at when he almost was killed. And I want you to take a close look. I want you to take a close look at this chart because it is a complete lie. You see a graph with a spike and some red arrows on the graph. It's a little bit blurry, but we can check out the CNN article that's titled Fact Check, How Trump Uses a Deceptive Chart to Lie About the Border. It's not just deceptive, the chart is a total lie. You can see right here, this is the chart a little bit zoomed in. You see a red arrow with a spike, and the red arrow says this is the month Trump left office. So, former President Trump keeps displaying a chart that includes a significant lie, and he keeps citing that deceptive chart to deliver his own lie about immigration trends in his last year in office. So it is a bar chart showing the monthly number of official encounters with migrants at the southern border. It has a large red arrow pointing to a month with a small bar, and then it says, next to that month, Trump leaves office in this month. The monthly bars get bigger and bigger right after that, insinuating that illegal immigration suddenly began rising from a Trump record low when President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris were sworn in. Trump says something like this, quote, you see the arrow at the bottom, the red arrow at the bottom, that's the lowest point. That was the week I left office, but facts first, Trump's claims are false and not just false, they're entirely propagandistic lies. He's lying to the audience and hoping they never get the fact check, or if they do, that nobody, that they don't believe it. They don't believe the fact check. This reads, illegal immigration was not at its lowest point in history in Trump's last week in office. And contrary to the text on the chart, the red arrow does not actually point to January of 2021. Rather, the arrow points to April of 2020 when Trump still had eight more months left in his term. In other words, the number of migrant encounters at the southern border, a figure often used as a proxy for unauthorized border crossings, had been rising for about three quarters of a year when Biden and Harris took office. The numbers did not spike under Biden and Harris, but they accelerated under Trump's term. He lies about it. Straight up lies. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you appreciate my fact checks, leave a like, comment a blue heart, hit the subscribe button. Have a great day and peace out.